guys welcome back to the channel i want to get some messages for you guys uh, this is just going to be random messages there is no particular theme uh, if it resonates with you please like comment share and subscribe to the channel dear god give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time please for the sign of libra what is the current energy around the sign of libra what is the current energy around the sign of libra bottom of the deck you have door to personal healing and happiness okay so spirit is saying that there is something that you either need to manifest or there's something that you've been trying to manifest in your life and whatever this is spirit is saying that this is going to bring you to the door of personal healing and happiness okay for a long time i feel like i'm talking to some libras that for a long time they always were asking the opinions of others. Should I do this? Do you think this would be a good idea? Um, do you think that I need to start this business or I need to leave this job? And I feel like for some of you all, you were starting to realize that everything that I need is within me. Everything that I need as above, so below, is going to come from me, my strength, my spirituality, and me trusting my path, okay? Somebody's definitely been on a self-love journey. We have here Angel of Love. If you are not currently on this journey, you are soon headed towards it. If all of a sudden you start seeing 111, 222, 333, um, seeing all the signs, the synchronicities, going to sleep and waking up at weird hours of the night and weird hours of the day, trying to figure out why things just kind of feel kind of topsy-turvy for you in your life, Spirit is saying, this is because you are going through a spiritual journey that is going to bring you out on the other side, okay? Some of you all will be closing out chapters during this time. As you see on this card here, you have the number 37. 37 breaks down to 10. 10s are about change. 10 is also about fulfillment. It's about harmony. It's about completion. So there's something in your life that needs to be complete, okay, that needs to come to an end in order for these changes to happen. And Spirit says for some of you all, this is centered around the third chakra, okay? So with the third chakra, this is your solar plexus. For some of you all, you may have had issues with low self-esteem, issues with worthlessness, issues with having a lack of energy. Maybe you feel guilty about something that you may have done. Somebody could be feeling guilty about something that they may have done to you. But I'm also hearing that somebody is saying, I am no longer going to play the victim. I am now the main character in my life, okay? I'm no longer being a people pleaser. I'm no longer waiting to see what somebody else says so I can go ahead and start a business. I can go ahead and leave a job. I can go ahead and leave this man or this woman. I'm making decisions that are best for me. I'm manifesting the life that I want and to hell with anybody who doesn't agree with my choices. Wow. So, man, good for you, Libras. That's what I'm talking about. Living life on your own terms, okay? Why are these messages coming through for the sign of Libra? Why are these messages coming through? There it is. It's time for you to assert yourself, okay? So, with the assert yourself card, it talks about going for what you want. The time is right for there to be a soulmate to come into your life, for you to meet some new connections. Soulmate is all, not always a lover that you're going to meet. It may mean that God is going to put certain people in your way that is going to help you along your journey, finding your soul family. Some of you all are going to feel like you've literally born again okay you're birthing something new whether this is a business for some of you all congratulations you may have recently found out that you're pregnant you may be heavily pregnant at this time waiting to give birth to your child but um you also have here personal riches it says small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way so again you're manifesting a lot and for some of you all this is manifestation of finances it says finances could improve dramatically but avoid get-rich-quick schemes, okay? Spirit is saying it's time for you to reinvent yourself. I already feel like somebody has already 
gotten this leg of their journey started where they've been taking care of themselves, going to the gym, they've been eating better, somebody's changed their hair color, somebody has not had plastic surgery, somebody has just worked their body out so much to the point where other people are like, damn, did you get something done? You look good. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm just, I keep hearing happiness looks good on you. So, it says a transformation is taking place. Enjoy this new lease on life, okay? Um, sometimes one of the things that I notice is that stereotypically, Libras don't like to feel like they're in an energy of boasting, okay? But there's nothing wrong with celebrating you and being proud of where you are. Sometimes I feel like for some of you all, you may hold back because, um, there may be people around you that don't want to necessarily celebrate your happiness, and this is why Spirit is saying it's important for you to find your tribe, okay, to find like-minded people, people that are going to celebrate you and not feel intimidated by you because you've upgraded in your life, okay? Upgrade is a good thing. Those that are hating are the same people that wish that they could do the same things that you're doing. They wish that they can get a gym membership and go somewhere and start working out. They wish that they could be alone, okay, and not always feel like they have to be in a relationship to be happy. I'm getting messages of a Libra that is happy by themselves. Oh my God, somebody's happy by themselves and a straight hustler. Okay, somebody is really out here working towards their goals, they're seeing their things in their life start to manifest. You feel like a new person. Give me some more messages that need to come through for the sign of Libra. Give me some more messages, please, for the sign of Libra. You also have, if it's really love, why does it hurt so bad and broken hard? For some of you all, you have been contemplating for a while now about walking away from a relationship. Or some of you all, <clears throat> I mentioned earlier about working out, about doing things to make you feel better. And some of you all could be using these techniques to help you heal from heartbreak. Okay, but Spirit is saying that this energy is only temporary. Okay, you're going to get back to yourself soon. Let me get some more messages and then we'll get into this. Give me the most clear and precise messages for the sign of Libra. Clear and precise messages, please, for the sign of Libra. Okay, let's see what we got. You cannot make this up. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. Some of you all, that let me tell you, that breakup, that disappointment, that heartbreak that you experienced from this person was a blessing in the disguise, okay? For some of you all, you weren't the one that was broken up with. You broke up with this person because, again, you asked yourself, if it's really love, why does it hurt so bad? Like, why am I staying in this, dealing with this, when I could do so much better? I'm hearing Mary J. Blige, I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to shed no tear. You are not worth my tears. Some of you all are really sitting back as you are um, being in this hermit mode, realizing that I cannot believe I dated this motherfucker. Like, really? This is who I dated? Oh, my God. I literally just saw 1010 10 on the clock as I said <laughs> Somebody, somebody said those exact words, okay? And somebody's been seeing 1010 10 like crazy. It's like, I cannot believe I wasted my time with this person. You weren't even on my level. You didn't even satisfy me like that. And I, I gave you a lot, okay? I tried to remain loyal in this relationship. You know, I, I took care of you. For some of you all, you said, I took care of you. I was emotion. I was the emotional support you needed. I was there when your daddy died. I was there when your mother died, your grandmother, somebody. Okay? You put it in all this effort in a relationship, and it's like, dang, this is the thanks I get. There's that 1010. Spirit says, be patient. For some of you all, you have been patient for a while, and now things are starting to turn around. Now those manifestations are, some, are starting to come to fruition. Now that abundance is coming. Okay, Spirit says, do what you've been doing. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient just a little bit longer. Okay, just a little bit longer. Everything's going to work out for your higher good. You need to trust your angels and know that they're working behind the scenes for you. Let me tell you something. You don't have to retaliate. You ain't got to stoop to this person's level. 
you're going to receive your blessings, okay? And you receive your blessings by holding back, okay? Somebody needs to hold their tongue, okay? You have here, I can't see myself settling down with just one person. So again, either this person was honest and they said this to you, or this is someone where they tried to play games, where they tried to keep you and they tried to entertain other people. And because of this, this person experienced karma. Shut the freaking door. You're protected. For some of you all, something didn't feel right. It was like, don't go back. Don't go back to this person. Somebody came back doing Mercury and Retrograde, and you said, uh-uh. Something don't feel right about this. I don't need to go near this person. Let me tell you something. When you start seeing those angel numbers and your body starts telling you that something isn't right with a situation, trust it. Okay? Because somebody may have protected themselves from an unwanted pregnancy or an STD. You got to miss your lips. There's that past energy. There's that petty person, tit for tat. This person see that you're blessed. Some of you all, you have been blessed with a new home. For some of you all, a new home is coming. All right? For some of you all, you may have lived with this person, but you decided to move out on your own. You could have been dealing with a petty Pisces. Somebody could have been dealing with a petty tit-for-tat Pisces. For some of you all, you're going to end up moving into a new home. You're going to end up settling down with the Pisces. This may be somebody from your past that has been on your mind a lot or you have been on this person's mind a lot. It may not have worked out the first time for some of you all dealing with past energy, but this person is coming back to make things right. Somebody's going to come back with an apology I'm telling you. For some of you all, you could be in your early 50s or this new person coming in. Spirit says, look for a new job while working the one you hate, okay? Face the facts. You hate this job. Yeah, it may pay well, but you sit on the edge of your bed every day like, God damn, I don't want to go in this job. Hate these folks. I hate my job. I'm bored. I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm, I'm sick of it. Some of you all, every time you go in the building, you end up sick. Your job is making you sick physically, Okay? Uh, this new person coming in could have an athletic build, okay? Some of you all may end up meeting this person at the gym. While you getting your body together, you're going to end up with somebody like this, okay? Could wear glasses or you could wear glasses. There's that past energy again. I miss you. I miss your voice. I miss you. I miss your lips. 1414 14 on the clock could be significant to someone. They are going to pull out all the stops, Libras. Are you hungry? Can I take you out? Can I bring you stuff? The same person is now asking you, are you hungry? Can I do this for you? Can I do that for you? Wouldn't give you a damn dime when y'all were together. This person was stingy. They didn't support you, but this person didn't realize what they had until it was gone. They didn't know that they disrespected and they shit all over an empress or an emperor. And somebody seeing everything too late. Huh? And you're like, from the back, this is the only way that you need to see me is walking away. Let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> oh, you cannot make this up. There it is, bottom of the deck. I regret the things that I said to you. I'm telling you, this person having a change of heart. See, this is somebody that thought, oh, you know what, I ain't worried about it. You lose one, you gain another. You know what I'm saying? I ain't missing you. I ain't thinking about you. Let me tell you something. This person got out there in their world and realized, ain't that out there? This person ran into somebody just like them. They were looking for a lick. That person was looking for a lick as well. All of the things that this person did to you or how they took advantage of you, this is exactly what happened to them in a relationship. They got played. That person spent their money. Didn't care nothing about them. They came and went, cheated on them, all these different things. They got to see who they were in 3D. Look at that. You got drug abuse here. Okay. So this person may have a drug addiction. Some of you all could have recovered from a drug addiction. A month from now, this person may reappear in your life. A month from now, a new person may appear for some of you. Oh, yeah, that's that new person with that mutual attraction there. 
You're going to know when you meet this person, they're the one, okay? You may meet this person when you enroll in school. For some of you all, you're thinking about enrolling in school. Some of you all are looking to just take some classes just so you can learn something new in regards to your job. You or your person could have an afro. That card has been coming out a, a, a lot, as well as this one, okay? I'm telling you, that person leaving your life was a blessing in disguise. I keep hearing... You don't know what you got till it's gone. There they are. Still wanting to be in your energy. I can still taste you is here. You have, this person had to go through a dark night of the soul. For some of you all, you had to go through this. This person took you through hell and back. And now you're going to be blessed with a king of pentacles. Ooh, shut the freaking door. Some of y'all dealing with an earth sign. For some of y'all, this is a vindictive ass Virgo. How dare you walk away from me and level up? Oh, you got your new home. You got your new body. You got your new car. You got somebody else around my kids, bitch. Oh, I'm telling y'all, I'm hearing some petty, petty, petty stuff. This person is mad. So in order for this person to feel like they can get you back, is I want to see if this person is still crazy for me, okay? But you all knew that this relationship was complicated. There were a ton of red flags that were ignored with this person from the past. But hopefully you've learned from that and you don't go back. Now some of y'all, I'm just going to be honest. You may end up being fooled by this person. But I'm just telling you, you go down that road. If you were hurt before, you're going to be hurt again. What is this? Okay, sorry about that. I thought I had it on. Do not disturb. All right? So this new person coming into your life, there's going to be equal give and take. This is somebody that um, wants these things. They come from a good home, good family values. You have here move, change of location. Okay? Some of you all could be leaving a job to go to another. For some of you all, you could be moving. All right? We did get new home. <laughs> I'll let y'all read that. Sexual energy is here. You also have do it for the gram, okay? So for some of you all, this person from the past, this is somebody that likes how things appear to the public, okay? As a matter of fact, I just did a recent video on my celebrity channel talking about um, Jeezy and Jenny Mai, how they had this do it for the gram type of appearance where everything just looks like it was happy, but behind closed doors, they were fighting like cats and dogs. This is why it's complicated came out as well, okay? So Spirit is saying that you don't need to deal with that drama. For some of you all, this could have been an interracial relationship that you were in that was toxic. For some of you all, this is an interracial connection that you will be going to in the future. For some of you all, you could be a virgin. This person could be a virgin. Holy moly. Whoa, look what's right next to it. <coughs> oh, somebody's throat chakra's closed. <coughs> Somebody may also be shy. You have here morning after peel. So some of y'all, be careful now. If you still can make babies, be careful. You got shadow work. Your past is holding you back, okay? So for some of you all, you still need to do some work on your spiritual journey. It may not quite be time for relationships. Oh, you cannot, you cannot make this up. I feel like I saw this earlier, but there's a tower moment that is coming. We all know that with these tower moments, they can be painful. Spirit is saying this could be surrounding a person that you're seeing. Earlier in the reading, we got if it hurts, you know, if it's really love, why does it hurt so bad? Spirit is saying you need to dead this situation before this tower moment happens. Tower moments are very painful. And like I mentioned before, um, we did get morning after peel. If you don't want unwanted pregnancy or anything else from this person from your past or this person that you're still dealing with that you're on the fence about, Spirit is saying to somebody, Dead this situation before it's too late. You also have your prayers will be answered. Okay, your prayers will be answered when you do what's important for you, Libra, and not anybody else, okay? So let's see. <clears throat> Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for the sign of Libra? 
Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for the sign of Libra? Cannot make this up. I mentioned earlier in the reading that this person realized what they lost, and this person could have lost an empress or an emperor. All right, and you have the Empress card coming up here. Also, Empress at times can indicate a pregnancy or the birth of something new. So again, I feel like somebody's getting a warning of not going back to somebody from their past. In particular, for some of you all, a vindictive as Virgo, because this person here is looking to trap you, okay? You also have Six of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this person is looking to trap you because they feel like this situation, this chapter has not closed out. They are still upset about something because Six of Swords in the reverse can be about about unresolved issues it can also be about emotional baggage or somebody resisting change i don't like the fact that you're changing that you're in this empress energy that you're looking good you're feeling good seem like you got your shit together and i don't like that i feel like you think you're better than me i feel like you are you are you are getting too far away from me in life so i need to kind of pull you back down a notch wow for some of you all you already have a child with this person for some of you all this could be a daughter it could be a daughter between the ages of three and six. This is very detailed. I'm telling you, whoever this, whoever some of you all that I'm speaking to, like, somebody's very classy. Somebody's very, like, I feel like somebody's petite as well. I feel like I'm speaking to somebody that is petite in size. This is somebody that's very meek, very quiet. I was choking earlier, so whoever this is may have been a person that didn't know how to use their voice or speak up for themselves in the past, but now it seems like you've gained some type of confidence. For some of you all, you may have been in an abusive relationship. This person, unfortunately, for some of you all, you were in an abusive relationship. Well, this person not only abused you, but they abused your, tri your child. Spirit is saying, dead this situation. Do not go back to what is hurting you. You also have Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants to try to make it work for the child, for some of you all that have kids. But for others of you all, it's like I'm putting my focus elsewhere. I mentioned earlier about going to school and, and um, talking to an advisor to see what it is that you want to do, to figure out what it is, what's your purpose in life, okay? Somebody's definitely looking for a career change. Somebody's looking for something where I want to learn something new. I want to learn a trade. I want to do something so I can make more money, okay? Eight of Pentacles is somebody that's very diligent, okay? Very passionate about what they do, and they have very high standards, okay? So Spirit is saying here that somebody's going to be able to master something, or they're going back to get their master's. So kudos to whoever this is I'm speaking to. Yeah, somebody's out of their head about going back and forth. Should I go back to school? Should I do this? Should I get my nursing degree? Should I should I go back and, and, and be a lawyer? And Spirit is saying a big fat yes, okay? Nine of Swords in the reverse is about a person having hope, okay? And if you need help, reach out for help, okay? And again, to somebody that may have been in an abusive relationship, um, Spirit is saying please reach out for help. Yeah, moon in the reverse, devil in the reverse, tower in the reverse. And you also have hermit in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Some of you all could be dealing with the earth sign. This person could be a Taurus. Now, with this hierophant here in the reverse, it can talk about somebody... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying hermit. I mean, um, hierophant, but I meant hermit. Okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Somebody's dealing with a Virgo somebody's dealing with a Virgo that they need to get away from. Do not entertain this person anymore. They showed you who they are. Release this person. Okay? Release this person. Let me tell you how, for some of you all, how this person wants you to be. They don't want you to be with anybody else, okay? They want you to be alone. They want you to be isolated from the world. Um, they want you to feel some sense of rejection. Like, there is somebody that is literally, like, out to... Oh, it just sounds, it's awful. Like, this is somebody that really has a grudge. They really have a grudge. But here's the thing about this. What's so sad about this is that this is somebody that hurt you. But yet, they're the one that's upset. Moon in the reverse, devil in the reverse, tower card in the reverse. It's sort of like you moved on from this situation. Or at least you're trying to. But this person wants to keep you stuck. Yeah, keep going, okay? Nine of Wands, Spirit is saying keep going. 
All right, keep going despite any setbacks, okay? Because I feel like somebody's very energetic right now. They're feeling very, yeah, I can't even get it out. Very adventurous at this time. This is why Spirit is saying reinvent yourself. That's the old you. That's what it is. Somebody. It, does, it may not necessarily be a lover for everybody. This could be friends, family, whatever the case may be. I feel like there is somebody that's so used to the old you, Libra, that they want to keep you there. I don't, I don't like you having reinvented yourself, changed yourself, fixed your body, got yourself together. Because, see, whoever this is, they're still stuck on the old you. They want the old you back. But that person is gone. I'm hearing Taylor Swift. She's dead. Oh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Let's see. What are some cold hard truths that the sign of Libra need to know at this time? If you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Comment and share this video with everyone you know. Let's see. Give me some cold hard truths for the sign of Libra, cold, hard, truths. Bottom of the deck, you have, you need some freaking yoga in your life, okay? We talked a lot in this reading about being active, okay? So somebody is needing to get physically active. Somebody may need to start the practice of yoga. Um, whatever feels comfortable with you. Whatever it is that helps you to eliminate stress, okay? Whatever brings you some sense of peace. You also have laughs. Somebody hasn't laughed in a long time. I'm talking about one of those from the good laughs. Where you just have a good time. Okay? Spirit is saying, where is your sense of humor? It's time for you to have fun. To live your life. Alright? You also have, you got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside you. See? Let me tell you something. When Spirit starts calling you with those angel numbers. And you start getting messages of, I feel like I need to start taking care of myself. Putting focus on me. Fixing my body. Fixing this. Fixing that. That is Spirit calling you to make some changes. That little voice you're hearing answer that okay it's time for you to make some changes in your life and spirit is saying for those of you all that are still stuck with this karmic if you think somebody is lying to you they are lying to you we got the moon card in the reverse earlier some of you all could be dealing with a lying sneaky i told y'all i said it earlier i talked about a pisces i feel like somebody's dealing with a pisces that's very secretive all right they don't take accountability for anything this is somebody that leaves you confused. Every time you talk to them, you're like, you know what? Don't even worry about it because hey, now you say it making sense right now. And you know they can't be trusted. What lessons is the sign of Libra learning at this time? What lessons is the sign of Libra learning at this time? You're learning about your self-worth. I just said this earlier with the solar plexus being closed. Somebody's solar plexus needs a lot of work, okay? Because you need to know your self-worth, all right? You have here, you're being asked to honor your worth. It can be so easy to feel that we aren't good enough or worthy of happiness. This simply isn't the case. However, you are worthy, and you have inherent value, and it's time for you to cherish yourselves, Libra, and see your worth. Bottom of the deck, you have allow, okay? What you let, you're learning at this time is that you're being asked to open your energy field and take down your walls of protection in order to allow goodness into your life. Sometimes without even realizing it, we block ourselves from the flow of life. It's safe to open yourself back up. Let me tell you, when you get in that headspace for so long that you don't feel like you're worthy of love, then you tend to attract people to you that don't love you. Trust me, I done been there before, okay? So Spirit is saying, it's time to change your mindset. It's time for you to elevate. You can stop running from those numbers now is what you're being told. You have your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. It says answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. Expect miracles, baby. You also have be a light to others. Number four is here as well. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you, Libra. 
some of you all, you're gonna, <laughs> somebody has been really wanting to um, dive into tarot. They've been thinking about being a tarot reader, even if they were just wanting to learn so that they can read for themselves. Spirit is saying, do that. You know, what are, what are you waiting on? Recognize those signs from above. Okay, some of you all are seeing 444, some of you all are seeing feathers, some of you all are seeing pennies and butterflies and birds, all right? You have angels are sending you messages right now, but you're too distracted to notice. You need to stay alert and open to the divine. Let's get some final messages to close off this reading. When it comes to love, let's close it off with some love messages. What does the sign of Libra need to know the most at this time? What does the sign of Libra need to know the most at this time, please? Ooh, let me tell you. This person from your past, for some of you all, this could have been a twin flame, a very strong connection where you did the work on you, but this person hasn't done any work on themselves. This person is emotionally unavailable. Spirit says no matter how they try to come back and try to preach to you, I change, baby. I'm different. I'm a different man now. I'm a different woman now. X, Y, Z. Let me tell you, they got a heck of a lot of issues. They have not healed yet. Remember when I said earlier that somebody's going through a dark night of the soul? This person is not quite ready to give up some of their addictions. For some of them, it could be like we saw in the cards earlier. There could be a drug addiction that they are just not ready to give up. Somebody's not ready to give up a certain lifestyle, even if that means losing their divine counterpart. <sighs> wow. I'm telling you, for, some, um, for others of you, I mentioned earlier that there was somebody, it was just probably the wrong, you know, the right person at the wrong time. But this person's coming back for some of you all. You got true love and second chance, okay? This person is saying, this time around, I'm going to make sure that this person knows damn well that they are the one for me and I'm the one for them. And I'm going to show you through consistency, through equal give and take, through unconditional love. Some messages, please, for the sign of Libra. Some messages, please, for the sign of Libra. Bottom of the deck, you have healing family issues, okay? So, again, I did mention earlier that some of you all are still going and doing some shadow work. There's a lot of issues from childhood. There could have been somebody that was sexually uh, taken advantage of, physically taken advantage of. All these different things that somebody may have experienced in their past, um, may have seen, may have never really witnessed any long-term fully committed relationships. If there were long-term committed relationships, it was always outside people, outside babies. And somebody is learning how to break these generational curses, okay? So they can move towards loving themselves. We're getting back to that self-worth again, okay? You also have here let go of control issues, all right? For some of you all, this is a habit that's being broken. How to stop trying to control the outcome in life or how to stop this, this feeling, this devil energy, okay? Always consumed by passion, all right? So spirit is saying that the right one is coming for you because you are doing the work on yourself. And I can't wait to see what's next for the sign of Libra. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all that information plus how to book for tarot courses is down below, pinned in the description box as well as in the comments and also across the screen. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.